Hello, Blogineer. Hello, Blogineers. Today we're going to unbox and demo another male chemistry set. And this one is on tin. <laughs> okay, and look at the front and the side. Just... Yeah, okay. So on the front, we see a tin thing. Spike. It's like a. It's like a spike ball. Yeah, uh, like the porcupine balls. And on the side, you can see that this is for ages 10 and up. And, and they as usual, in order to do the male chemistry set, you'll need the starter kit. Wait. And as usual, in order to do the chemistry set, you'll need the male chemistry starter kit. Okay. And on the back... You can see the number of experiments and how long they'll take. So there's a uh, two experiments. The first one is tin dendrite, which takes ten mi minutes, and the second one is tin hedgehog, which is twenty minutes. This chemistry set contains liquid soap, sodium hydrogen sulfate. Is that toxic? Maybe tin chloride, zinc petri dish, battery holder battery muzzle, crocodile clip, clip wire, experiment card instructions, pin opener, plastic vial, and protective gloves. From the starter kit, oh, they also tell you what we need for the starter kit. So we're going to need the plastic tray, the safety glasses, the smartphone clip on macro lens, and the smartphone stand. And we need to prepare in advance four AAA batteries. Which are they? Right. Yeah, well, I got this over here. Those, those are commercial okay. things. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's open it. I, I, I got the scissors. Pathetic. Ten years later, we found the scissors. So we can finally open the box up. Don't throw it! Just open it. Okay. What are you looking at? Throw this away. Got the, the lid off. Nobody wants to see this. Oh, it says, welcome to science. It's more like chemistry. Wickelmenon in der Wissenschaft. Oh. That's welcome to science in German. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, it is in German. Wither me one nos. <laughs> All right. In here. Okay, so we see the two experiment cards. Oh, this <clears throat> this is just like Mel Physics because they have these instructional uh, cards in Mel Physics too. So each one is for one of the experiments. First, we'll be doing the tin dendrite, which is difficulty one out of three, and danger two out of three. Okay. And duration ten minutes. Yeah, and. The tin dendrite one is going to have batteries. Okay, and the tin hedgehog has difficulty one out of three, danger two out of three, and duration 20 minutes. And here are some well, bottles. There's, there's so many bottles of weird stuff. Okay, there's tin chloride and sodium hydrogen sulfate 
in this bag. Oh, I think, is it the same in every bag? Yeah, okay, so I think these three bags are the same. And in this bag, there's zinc and liquid soap. Look, I, I found the tin muzzles, I think. Yeah, the tin muzzles are here. Yeah, I think these are. Nice. No, they're battery muzzles. Uh, I'm not sure. Gloves. Cables. Or maybe these are the muzzles? I don't know. I don't know. The where you put the batteries. But there's also some wires. Can things. These are Petri dishes. Oh, Petri dishes. Uh, there's this paper clip. And the instructions. The instructions include... Safety rules. Yeah, safety rules and... Is that it? That's basically it. That's the main part. Safety rules. Oh, okay. In the instructions, there's some information about some of the chemicals we're using. For example, sodium hydrogen sulfate. The hazards is that it causes serious eye damage. So for precautions, we have to wear protective gloves, protective clothing, eye protection, and face protection. And if it gets in our eyes, we rinse cautiously with water for several minutes. All right. Zinc. The hazards is very toxic to aquatic life with long lasting effects. And the tin chloride hazards is that it may cause allergic skin reaction. It's harmful if inhaled. It may cause respiratory irritation. Very toxic to aquatic life causes severe skin burns and eye damage. Suspected, suspected of causing genetic defects, suspected of damaging fertility or the unborn child may cause damage to organs through prolonged or repeated exposure. Okay, basically, the aquatic life is basically if you have like fish and stuff, but we don't. So that's good. All right, so basically, that's the safety disclaimer. Yeah. But as long as we do everything correctly, we should be okay. Yeah, I totally understand it. Oh, and there's also liquid soap, which doesn't have any listed hazards. Yeah, it's just soap, guys. If anything, it's a good Oh, wait, hazard. there's also precautions. But the precautions are super long, so we're not. We're going to read them off camera. Oh, boy. Hi, Cal. Will you run time out? Here you go. Here you go, buddy. Oh, okay, so the tin chloride cannot get on your skin, or else it will cause serious issues. Where's the tin? The green bottle? It's the... Yeah, the green one. So we wear a glove? Yeah. And I run away? What? And I run away? Maybe. Okay. Are you filming? Yeah. Oh. Well, you're worried now, right? I mean, the start of the... Yeah. I okay, so... Gloves. <laughs> so the first experiment will be... Is it tin hedgehog or tin dendrite? Which one? It's dot a tin dendrite. So we'll do this one yeah. first. Okay. So how about this? We're gonna get prepared. Yeah. Uh -huh, okay. yeah. yeah. And that is the unboxing. So there's a lot of dangers to these chemicals, but we, if we handle them properly, hopefully we're fine. And aside from that, this looks like it will be pretty fun. Yeah. Right. And we'll be back. Oh, yeah. So we'll be back for the tin dendrite experiment. Cool. And go. And we're back. Okay. Ow. Hold on. Okay. And we're back.
we're back. We're ready to start the first experiment. The difficulty is one out of three, but the danger is two out of three. And we are working with some chemicals that we do not want to get on our face or our skin. So... What's it called? What? The oh, face. yeah. This is called tin dendrite. A metal tree grows before your very eyes. So that's what's going to happen. Step one, we have to prepare the tin chloride solution. Oh, by the way, we're wearing two gloves because since they only come with one set of gloves, the blue one is going on our right hand and we got cooking gloves for our left hand. Yeah, the right hand is the one that we use more. Yeah. All right. So first... Let's put everything on this tray. Oh, I can see a bit of the color that we use for that volcanic, uh, the volcano. Not one experiment. Right, let me know if you need me to pour stuff. Where's this? Where's this? That's this? just the, that's just some rubber thing. Hmm, I'm not sure. We don't need this, right? No. Is it stuff for like dapping stuff later? Oh, like possibly. Just, just yeah. like the cotton? Yeah, I think okay. so. Can you open this? How many do you need? This one. So step number one is first prepare tin chloride solution. S N C L two solution. Yeah. So we're going to start by pouring, pouring... the red bottle okay. into the green bottle. And you have to enter the tip, the this tip securely. After that, we use the red cap. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So always make sure the direction is correctly before you do stuff, okay? Just in case, so you don't like cause an accident or whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, so first we take this off. Remember, pour the whole bottle. And and remember, this one is dangerous for your eyes, nose, and skin. I'll unscrew this red one. It's liquid, so I have to be very careful. This one is liquid. Be careful. This one's liquid. We put that down. Put that down and secure that one with your blue glove. Now we pour this in. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're gonna pour the whole bottle in. Wait, let me grab it. Can you move that paper that's kind of blocking the camera and to your left? And to your right. Yeah. That's good. Right. <laughs> And it just goes in, I think? Yep. You just, yeah, it just says pour one bottle. You just split. Yeah. Okay, ready? Okay. Here it goes. What? No, don't, don't grab it. That's extremely toxic. No, it isn't. It is toxic, not extreme. There's more venomous stuff out there. You just, you just push. Something's not coming out. It's not coming out. Unless it's some kind of visible ink. That is coming. Yeah, it's not coming out. Is 
Is that coming up? Yeah. Maybe there's a seal. Is it safe to cut anything first? Watch out. It's toxic. It's toxic. Read the instruction before working. Put it back a, down on this. It doesn't seem like there's a seal. What? What was this? Does it seem like there's a seal? Put it on top of here. No, because we're because if it spills here, it's better. No, it's like. Can I try? On the try? Yeah. Wait, properly. Yes, it is. Right, so hold on to it and use it. I know. Yeah. Can I use the microphone? I do want on top the paper. So do you want to close the other one first so you you'll knock it over? No. Uh. This one I'll just put to the side. Ready? No, don't put it to the side there. The table has no protection. But it's fine. It's not going to spill. Right. Yeah, right. This is harmful for eyes. Oh. Or mouth. It's just... after, after it's done poking, put it on the tray. Oh. Put it on the tray. No. I figured out why. What? You have to unscrew this. Oh. <laughs> First of all, this is going to need to unscrew. No, the poking didn't work. Dada, poking doesn't work. Okay, so I'm scoring. Does that work? No, I can't seem to unscrew it. Let me try it. Okay. But, but are you supposed to unscrew? Don't don't force it though. I'm not. One time I got it very deep. Oh yeah, I'm getting it deeper. Close your mouth just in case it splashes out. There. Put that on the tray. Put it on the tray. Put it on the tray. Put a, no, the paper, paper clip. clip put on. Did you get it? I don't know. Try it out. It's working. Mm -hmm. Yes.
house. Now we know that somebody in the house knows how to poke something. The problem is that it's doing it so slowly. But that's the fastest it goes. At this rate, we're never going to get it done. Did you empty the whole bottle? Yeah, it says pour one bottle. So maybe you have to poke it better in a way. Okay, we can try again. Or are you able to just unscrew it and just pour it? It's not dripping? No, on here they should tell oh. you to drip. Okay. Because pouring is kind of reckless. Okay. okay, be careful. Only use your right hand. Here, I'll hold it for you, okay? No, no, don't use your left hand. Okay, if you want. Oh, good. That's good. I fell at something. Remove it. That's the box that I can poke it. Did you feel something poke? I just poke it. I just, I just push it down all the way. That's a bit better. Mm -hmm. But at the rate that we're going, I don't know if we're going to get it. Why didn't they put 20 minutes? Doing a bit better. And I got it already went down to five centimeters. Do you think we should go on time lapse? Yeah, this might take a while to pour, so time lapse. That is the end of time lapse, and we did it. It actually wasn't too bad. Yeah, I, I, I poked it one more time and all of the liquid started pour, pouring out while we pushed. So, brother, I want you to take this pin and insert it in here. Ready? Um, yeah, that's the Push one. it in? Yeah, I did. Okay, I pushed it down the best I could. Should be secure. All right, and now we use the red cap, which is this, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? I'm gonna shake it. No, I'm not super ready, but okay. Three, two, one. Oh, good. I'm still not ready, though. How many seconds are you shaking it? How many seconds have you been shaking it? It doesn't say.
Okay. And I shook it. Finally, step one done. Mm -hmm. Step two, the solution will not coat the surface of the paper dish well. To make the liquid distribute evenly, we need to decrease its surface tension by adding some liquid soap. So first we add this bottle. All right, so we have this bottle of two toxic liquids. There's the tin chloride and the sodium hydrogen sulfate. Brother, come sit here properly. No. It's fine. I've been very careful. Okay. Okay. The and camera can see this, right? Yeah. Yes. So I'm going to pour the liquid. Ooh. <gasps> Whoa. Make the sphere. Oh, that's a big sphere. Whoa, it just oh. became one circle. Do that magic trick again. <laughs> Do it again. Yeah, it's like becoming a big blob of something. Hurry, keep pouring. Keep pouring. Whoa, did you see that? They all clumped together. And they looked magnets. Wow. Okay, that's cool. Whoa, it just became a magnet again. Oh my gosh. One of them are so big, but one of them are so small. Can you make it into one big one? I'm not supposed to. Really? Well, you're making all of them so big and some so small. <laughs> okay, you made a super big one. Oh, you're you're all you're putting all of them together. I thought you said you weren't supposed to. <laughs> now we put the liquid soap. Which isn't toxic. Hold on, not yet. Okay, now you can. Can block the camera. Alright. Right. Oh, only two drops. So brother's going to pour the liquid soap, but only two drops. Actually, can I do it? No, I want to. But it needs to be very careful. It's only two drops. I know, I it. know how to do two drops. Okay. Right? You gotta pull that thing. Yeah, push down to it. There. Alright, use your right hand. Here. Got it, brother? Only two small drops. Just pinch it twice. Huh? Oh, that's because I have to push down again. You didn't get anything on your gloves, did you? No. I have to push down. You hold it. Wait, I need to do it again. The... Come on. There. You want to pour or me? No, I don't. Two drops. Two drops. Oh, I'm just going to come Oh, out that's one? Now. Whoa, did you see it? Wait, hold on. Yeah. And one more. Hold on, hold on. You... Hold on. Not yet. Hold on, let me get the camera ready. Ready? Hold on. Okay. Wow. What happened? I don't see anything. Okay, so the point of the liquid soap is just so that it doesn't do the bubbly things. You know? Yeah, I know, I know. Can we get some fresh air? Sure. Sometimes we have to get it out. Very quiet. Next, we put the cables into the water. The red on the left, the black on the right. Do you put battery in first or after? After. Mm. Oh, we can do it. It doesn't matter the order. So first, 
we're gonna take this battery tin and add four AAA batteries. Can I put in? Uh, how about da da da? Since da da doesn't have gloves. Can we untie this? M make sure you do the plus and minus first. Are you talking to me? Because I don't have any plus and minus. Did you do it the right way? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Oh, uh, does it matter the order that we put this in? Oh, yeah. This first. No. Yeah, that's what it says in the instructions. Oh, sure. Whatever. Put this in the water first? Red to red. Black to black. No, don't put it in the water first. We can do that after. Why do you put this Are you doing the right way though? But do you want me to take out the battery first while you do this step so you, you don't get electrocuted or whatever? Oh. Well, you see, they actually tell you to put in the water. Follow whatever is the So you even read, read through that first to see what the proper procedures are. Put the electric toy in the solution. Do you even put batteries in now or later? They don't even touch each other. Yeah, it okay, so first put clip it on to the solution. Why do you clip it? Here, I'll do it. And do I need to put that together? Okay, there. So I clipped it on and part of it is touching the solution, which is good. So what's in the liquid tin? This liquid? Yeah. Um, liquid soap, the tin thing. And something else. And so this is some kind of metal. Humidity? Watch out, don't let your glove touch the liquid. Good, yeah. good job. Okay, so now that we have that, we can just connect the batteries and then we're all good. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, brother. Hold on, this might be the moment a magic thing happens. Don't get electrocuted. Just clip it on. There. I see part of the tree forming over here. You can see part of the tree forming in the water. Look. Oh yeah. Okay, so finally, step five: the electrons from the batteries cause a chemical reaction. One of the products of which is metallic tin. So this should just cause a chemical reaction too. Yeah, it's making a tree look.
Hey, don't move it. It's doing its job. It's forming a tree. Oh yeah, the chemical reaction should only be coming from the black. The black. So thing. we did correct. And now, do we just sit and wait? Yep. Hold on, let me record from here because the, uh, the other phone can't see from that angle. Well, what if from Lukey's? Did you get any liquid on your gloves? No. Okay. Oh, it's growing. So it only goes on the black side? Yeah. To, towards the red? Maybe. Oh, that's really neat. Whoa. Wait, what's this called? A, a tin tree? No, a tin dendrite. Dendrite. It's a dendrite. Tin dendrite. Oh, it, it's actually supposed to be like this. This is where the tree is. No, not that way. I see spikes on the tree. <laughs> it looks like a glass broke and I shatter. Doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That looks so cool. Is that worth the danger, Nolly? Maybe. Or maybe not. Okay, I need to talk to the camera now. Okay. Let's go back and And then afterwards three how the clean up is like do I just go down the sink or whatever? All right, so while we're waiting for this to do its magic, it's already starting to look like shattered glass. It's so cool. This is one, This is why I love milk chemistry. Even, did you just pick your nose? No, I took it. Okay. It was sliding down. I was like, ah, there's chemicals. Pick your nose afterward. <laughs> All right, well, anyways, it's looking like shattered glass. So the thing about milk chemistry is that the experiments are really fun. However, you do have to be careful because of the toxic stuff. But I mean, it is for ages 10 and up, and I'm 13, so, you know, the chemicals aren't, shouldn't be I'm too way harmful. under 8, <laughs> or way under 10, or whatever. Yeah, but in the meantime, oh, wow, it has grown so much. I'm going to read this. This is the science behind the experiment. Batteries are basically electron pumps. They suck electrons in with their plus and pump them out with their minus. When such a pump is connected to a solution via electric hoses, a variety of chemical reactions can take place. By the minus, which is the black one, some particles will capture the electrons that are pouring out. And by the plus, which is the red, some particles will give their electrons away. So which means that the minus or the black one is capturing the electrons and making the tree grow, I guess. Oh wait, it grew so much. Yeah. And then the red one is giving the electrons away. So that's why a tree is not growing over there. In our experiment, the ions Sn2+, which means the tin atoms with two electrons missing, will gladly accept some electrons at the black wire and will turn into metallic tin. Oh, so the tree we see that's growing is actually metallic tin, I think. Meanwhile, the plus electrode, which is the red one, which is made of iron, will give some of its electrons to the plus wire, leaving some iron ions floating around. This is why the red crocodile clip will eventually dissolve if you don't disconnect it. Oh my gosh, I can see that happening. Yeah, I can see it dissolving. Oh my gosh, the red clip is gonna dissolve. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah. It's, it's like slowly dissolving. Hey, we have to, uh, wait, do we need do, it for the You should next? capture it. The, okay, we're going to show you in a B-roll. By the red one, you can see the the thing that makes up the red crocodile. Wait, wait, it's, wait, wait. it's slowly dissolving. You can see the black go around it. Do you see that? Yeah, okay. Should we unplug it now? No. no. Let's leave it for 30 more seconds. No, because it's. Do, do we need that for the second one? No. Oh, no. So we can keep it here. The second one is. It's dissolving! Wow, that's so cool. It's dissolving, guys. Okay.
Okay, and lastly, before we take this out, I'm going to read disposal. Dispose of solid waste together with household garbage. Pour solutions down the sink. Wash with an excess of water. But make sure when you pour it, it doesn't go all over the sink. Make sure it goes straight into the hole and then wash with an excess of water. What, is that? Yeah. All right. So that is tin dendrite. Coming into this, I actually wasn't too excited. But this, this is worth the danger. <laughs> it's so cool. The red is slowly dissolving. Clean up time and then we'll make the tin hedgehog. It's starting to dissolve. Tin Hedgehog. This is the second and final experiment of the day. The difficulty is one out of three. The danger is two out of three. And it takes 20 minutes. The last one says it took 10 minutes, but it ended up taking us like 30 because we we didn't know what we were doing half the time. Yeah, but this one only has two steps. Yeah, there's only two steps. So if it takes 20, if it says it takes 20 minutes, that means each step should take 10 minutes. But that seems kind of off. Yeah. Unless you have to wait for that thing to happen. Okay, anyway, let's go. Don't do that in case it splashes or something. It makes some weird noise when you clap your hand like that together. Okay. Basically, the first step is basically the same as last. Except there's just one more part added to it. Wait, why are there four pieces of zinc? What's going on here? Oh, well, we'll get to that later. Oh, I see why it takes 20 minutes, because on step two, you have to wait. There's a clock symbol. Oh, was there a clock symbol the first one? No. Yeah, there was. Oh, okay, so we figured something out. The clock symbol means wait for a bit. So, for example, in the last experiment, it says wait for a bit for the tree to grow. So in this one, we have to wait for a bit for the hedgehog to grow. I, I feel like sneezing. I choose. Sneeze onto your... Elbow. Okay, I cannot see. And you go, I choose. <laughs> okay. Let's Step one, we are familiar with already. Except we put it into a, a clear plastic tube. Mm -hmm. Let's put this aside. Okay. okay, let's read the label to make sure it matches. N-A-H-S-O-4. Yep, that's it. S-N-C-L-2. Yeah, this one's the most dangerous one, the green one. Ready? Can I open the N-S-H-S-O? Okay. So S-N-C-L-2 or chlor tin chloride... This one is the more dangerous one, but it's also the one that we're not pouring things with. Well, yeah, that's, well, that's... Well, not yet. Yeah, we'll eventually have to pour it. Remind me that tin goes on the left, okay? Okay. But I thought we were supposed to use the red tin. Whatever. As usual, brother is the expert poker, so he's going to poke. Um, you want to hold this one? No. Well, you kind of have to. Come on, there. Oh, my God. This time, I feel like the We're whole... professionals at this. Okay, should be good. Should be good by my calculations. Mm -hmm. Good 
this good. Yep. Yay, I poked it well. Mm -hmm. Is good job, brother. No. Oh. No, I don't. <laughs> the good thing is that all I have to do is poke stuff and pour stuff. That's the only thing that happens in this now comes. That's the good part. That's the good part. Almost there. One year later. We're still pouring, guys. I feel like it's been a little... Oh, good. Finally. Yay! Okay, that was way shorter than the last time. That's because we're professionals now. Yeah, we're professionals. What he said. Alright. We now have we... this tin thing. Now we put this... Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh and just... For your reference, this chemistry kit allows you to do every experiment twice. I'm not sure about the other chemistry kits, but this one does. And so that's just a nice thing to know, but we're only going to do them once because, of course, we're probably not going to repeat. Yeah. What he said. And you're on my, um, yeah. Now you shake it. It's good enough, okay? You just push it. It's good enough. Okay, I can push oh, it. Oh, watch out. I didn't get anything. Oh, I got a bit, but... Okay, please yeah, don't do it. I was going to help you push it. Don't put it on your shirt. Don't put it on your shirt. Oh, there. I got it. Okay, next time, can you not interfere? I was going to help you, okay? Can I see the liquid? Where is it? It's just shine. Okay, just don't don't rub it against anything, okay? Okay. Very serious stuff, guys. He took forever to push that lid down the <laughs> one hundred years later. <laughs> Come on. Ready? Yeah, I want to shake it. I've always been red. We have a tube. We're gonna fill it halfway. <laughs> yeah, we know. Okay. <laughs> Watch out! Don't rub it against your shirt. I'm not. It's on this stuff. The stuff was about. I don't know. Put away. Come on. Ready? It's gonna go in. Of course, I'm ready. Come on. Squirting. Halfway, remember. Good. Finally. It takes forever, guys. <laughs> Step number two. Can I take these horrible non-waterproof gloves? Oh, do you feel oh. it on the other side? No. I want to take these non-waterproof gloves. Okay, here is the halfway thing, and I'm going to get the zinc out. Zinc. Okay. 
Um, Zinc, I don't think this is as toxic as the other two because the only warning was that it's toxic to wildlife. I mean, the aquatic animals. It didn't say anything about humans. Yeah, we do not have any fish, okay? Actually, people can eat zinc, so it's not that. Oh, yeah! So this is food, right? No, it's not food. It depends on the type of zinc. Oh. Well, well you made it sound like this is food. Oh, zinc is pebbles! Kind of. Yeah, it's pebble. Okay, so we only need one pebble of zinc. Yeah. Inside here, they give you five pebbles, and you only need one. Yeah. Okay, we're already done with step Can one. Can stop with Sorry. this hand? We're already done with step one, and step two says, now submerge a piece of a more active metal. Can I do it? Zinc ZN in the tin salt solution, and see what happens. Can I do it? Okay, I want you to do it with your left hand this time, since this is not as hazardous. Go, now just pour it in. Hold on, actually don't pour it in yet. Can the camera see? Go. We're inserting zinc in. <laughs> it's fine. Oops. Ready? I'm gonna put it in your finger here. You see, the, the thing is very big, okay? Here, try again. I'll use the right hand Come for the remote control. I, okay, you I, know what? Just dip. Just use your hand to put it. In. There yeah, we go. Yeah, after multiple attempts, I did it. Oh, it's at the bottom. Oh well, yeah, you can see a grayish tint thing. Okay, and now we just wait. That's it. That's the end of the experiment. Can I take these horrible uh, non-water? No, because we're not. We're not done yet. Come on. Watch out, it has hazardous stuff on it. I'm not touching anything. Can you sit properly, though? No problem. I'm taking a break. It says to wait. I'm waiting. Just show up, Papa. Please, this is oh, serious. Uh, uh, I this am is chemical stuff. Okay, this is normal. Okay, I don't want you goofing off. I will. Okay, then sit on your stool. I'm sitting. Oh, that's fine. All right. I'm partly on my stool. So what's supposed to happen? Do you want to read? Or whatever, supposed right? to We're supposed to wait. We're supposed to wait, but then they say to take a macro photo of the hedgehog. So I think that's where the lens or whatever comes into play. Oh, on your phone? Is that what it is? Can you just take care of that? Wait, what? there's a macro lens in there? There might be. Oh, I think it's done. It's becoming painted. I think it's done. Wait. Oh yeah, I remember now. It didn't really. I remember now. It didn't really do much last time. What? Oh, shoot. Oh, do I put on this one? Yeah, I remember last time when we were playing with this, but it didn't really do any macro. Yeah, there's a snake at it. I think I had another set. Remember once I got like a whole kit, but then I returned it. Hmm. I think that's the most it's gonna get to. It says wait to 1 p.m. What? Yeah, it's past 1 p.m. Come on, it's past 1 p.m.
Okay, I think it's done. It's past 1 p.m. It says wait till 1 p.m. Clearly. Done. <laughs> Over there, it's 1 p.m. No, maybe it means 1 a.m. Oh! <laughs> it's like one oh. oh, oh, but it's past breath. 1 a.m. Oh, yeah! So, okay, so it's done. Oh, but what if it is 1 a.m. tomorrow, huh? <laughs> Not today, but tomorrow. Oh, or what if it means 1 p.m. tomorrow, huh? That'd be a whole day. What? Yeah. yeah. See, I don't think this macro thing works. Is there something wide? You turn this way, macro turn this way, back of them. Shoot, do I have the lever? Well, let me see if I have another macro on this. Um, I think it's done with. Oh, I'm starting to see spikes. Yep. We waited for a good five minutes, maybe ten minutes, I don't know. And we can clearly see the porcupine in this now. It's, it's not a porcupine, it's a hedgehog. Oh, well, porcupine and hedgehog is the same animal and there's no difference. <laughs> so, yeah, we see the porcupine. And <laughs> the hedgehog. <laughs> And we were trying to use the macro lens because that's what it says to do. However, uh, the macro lens we're using doesn't really work or it just makes it blurry. Maybe it's because it's an old phone that we were recording with. But even without the macro lens, we were able to see the hedgehoginess clearly or the porcupineiness. <laughs> and lastly, before we go, I need to read the science. Metals in their metallic are made of positively charged particle, particles embedded in neg negatively charged cloud of electrons. Particles of some materials oh, like to reside in <laughs> such a cloud more than others. In our experiment, tin SN would rather chill inside a cloud of, a cloud of electrons, whereas zinc is relatively is relatively more <laughs> inclined to float on its own as a charged particle. When we place a zinc pellet in a solution containing tin, the tin ions pull the electron blanket overturning, overturning into metallic tin, and zinc ventures out into the solution. Oh, okay. So if you didn't understand that, <laughs> basically it's saying that the zinc pebble because it's inserted into t a tin solution, the tin. Are you okay? <coughs> yeah, I just had to cough now. Oh, you're recording. Uh, sorry. Can you just cough next time? You scared me. Okay. So basically, the tin. No. So basically, the zinc pebble that we put in the tin solution is getting yanked out. Like the the is it electrons or something like that? It's getting yanked out because the tin is making it yank out. So that's why you can see spikes. So I guess tin and zinc. So I guess tin is zinc's enemy. That's why tin is trying to yank zinc out of itself. Okay, very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the tin particles do not settle all over the place randomly. They prefer a way of sitting next to each other. Chemists call this crystal structure. This is why tin forms elegant needles and does not color cover the zinc pellet evenly. Other compounds, meanwhile, have different crystal structures. If you take a solution containing copper ions instead of tin ions, you won't create a needly porcupine, but rather some completely different porcupine. 
Oh wait, or beast, not porcupine. Oh, so it depends on the material. If you keep the tin solution, but you use copper instead of zinc, then it will not become a porcupine. It's a, it's, it's a hedgehog. And lastly, if tin, <laughs> if tin itself can have many crystal structures. Oh wait, no. And lastly, even tin itself can have many crystal structures. At low temperatures, tin prefers a different way of packaging itself. Solid pieces of tin turn brittle and crumble easily. This phenomenon is called tin pest. And it can cause a lot of trouble if you rely on something made of tin when it's freezing cold. Uh, oh, okay. So, some say that the polar explorer Robert Scott learned this the hard way, as his expedition found itself in the middle of the frozen desert, the frozen Antarctic desert, with no way to get warm. The cans holding their fuel were made of tin, so they crumbled in the cold, because the tin does that when it's cold. All right, well, so that's the science behind this, I guess. It's just basically why it forms the, the porcupine scales. Yeah. Or porcupine spikes. That's the better one. It's a hedgehog! So now that we have done both the tree root experiment and the porcupine, hedgehog. And the porcupine experiment, <laughs> we're going to give you our final thoughts. It's a hedgehog! Okay, final thoughts? Did you fart? <laughs> Alright, should we clean up this one final thoughts? Fart it and then it <laughs> <toad> in there. <laughs> No, let's clean up after. Okay. Or sure, let's clean up okay. first. Okay. Well, how was the cleaning? Um, um, go. Final thoughts. Brother, what was your favorite experiment? The tin. The tin. Denser? Den. 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 Oh, let me see what it's called. Dendrite. My favorite was the de. My favorite was the tin dendrite. Yeah, the tin dendrite was the one where we made the tree grow, and that one involved batteries. So it was it was a little bit more complicated, but also it was a lot more fun than well. I mean, both both experiments were fun because the hedgehog was nice to see the the zinc pellet kind of spike up. Like it's not every day you see that, but that tree experiment was awesome. It's probably one of my favorite from Mel Chemistry. Because the tree, like, it's just amazing how the battery caused one side, uh, one of the wires, is that what you call it? The crocodile clip wires? It caused the red one to dissolve, and it caused the black one to make a tree grow. So, yeah, that was certainly really cool. And also, as for the safety of these two experiments, I think that even though we were working with very hazardous materials, we managed to stay safe, and it, it actually wasn't that bad because as long as we followed the instructions, everything went fine. If this looks fun to you, you can purchase this at the link in the description. Bye!